All right, guys, welcome back. Today, in this video, I wanted to just show you guys how to share and clone a project using Eclipse. Now, this video is pretty similar to my previous video, but um, the only key difference is that we're going to be using an actual IDE in order to share and clone a project using Eclipse. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so for the first part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to share a project to GitHub using the Eclipse IDE. Now as you can see here, what we have here is just an empty project. As you can see, our application object, app.java. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is just showing you how to share a project to GitHub. So, first thing you want to do is to go inside our class here and just um, add some code. Okay, after we do that, we just want to print out, let's just say, hello world. All right, just do a save. And then we just simply run this application. We run it, we get hello world back, exactly what we we're expecting. All right, now, um, in order to share this project on GitHub, the first thing that we need to do is go to our project, right click it, and then go to team, share project. You then want to select the repository type for this particular video we're going to be using git after that we actually want to create ourselves a local repository now I've talked about this in my previous video um, about what local repositories are and how they're used but um, local repositories are basically used to bridge the connection between an application on your machine and a remote repository on GitHub. So it's pretty much just used to bridge that connection so that you're able to share projects from your machine to a remote repository pretty much. So we just want to go to this field repository and then go to create, go to create. And then from here, we just want to add the name of our local repository that is going to be on our computer. So I just want to go tutorial local repo go to finish as you can see here we have our repository tutorial local repo and then from there this is the location on our computer of where our local repository is pretty straightforward go to finish and as you notice here we have some question marks and some arrows here if you realize that so you may be asking yourself what does this mean all right, so what this means is th this, these arrows here, these basically mean that somewhere within this directory, there is a file that has not been committed. So if we make our way through these files, tutorials, expand source, you'll realize that this app.java has not been committed to our local repository yet. So let's go about um, committing this to our local repository now. So the way, one way to do that would be to right click the project and then go to team and then go to commit. Then go to initial and then actually you'll be presented with this dialog box um, here we're just going to simply enter in a commit message i'm just going to type in initial commit and then down here we just want to select all the files that we want to commit to our local repository you can just go here select all but these are all the files that are going to be committed to our local repository this class path file Get ignore dot project um, this file here um, core dot prefs as well as app dot java. Now um, this get ignore file is basically I want to talk about this a little bit. It's basically a file that is used to filter through classes that you don't want committed to your local repository. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later after we finish committing this. So basically, what we have here we have a commit message initial commit. Then down here, we've selected all the files that we want to commit to our local repository. So we just go to commit. As we go to commit, you'll realize that the question marks as well as the arrows that we have previously seen here are gone now, which means that this file has been committed to our local repository. Now, I want to talk about the git ignore file that I showed you guys earlier. So I want to go up here, go to window, show view, others. Now, I want to now type in navigator. 
All right, now, as you can see here in our navigator, we have a git ignore file. This git ignore file contains um, this directory called bin. Now, if you're working with git for the first time in Eclipse, you're probably not going to see this. Um, this is basically a directory that I've added um, by creating previous projects or um, sharing previous projects in git and basically what it's used to do as i said before is used to just filter through records so if you go into your git ignore file and type bin then that means that no none of the files located in this bin directory are going to be committed to your local repository so it's basically just used to filter the files that you don't want to be committed now the reason here that i'm not committing these files here this app.class file is because from my understanding whenever you go about committing class files um, they definitely can lead to merge conflicts or problems down the line um, when you're pushing your project to github or to just a, a repository in general pretty much so um, that's pretty much why I've, I've added it here you do have the ability to go into your git ignore and add multiple directories if you wanted to, but um, for right now, I'm just going to be using the bin directory to filter through, um, you know, particular files that I don't want to be added to my local repository. All right, so that explains that. Okay, so I want to go back to our package explorer, and another thing that we want to do, we want to go to window, show view, other, and we actually want to open up another view and we're going to be opening up git repositories all right so we have this git repositories view down here as you can see here we have our local repository tutorial local repo we want to expand that and then we want to expand branches then as you can see here we have a folder called local now if we go into local you'll see this initial commit which is a commit that we've added that i've, that I've just you know showed you guys how to add we do an initial commit and we're now pointing to the local host master branch when we've done that commit. So we created ourselves a repository and we've committed that project pretty much to the master branch of this local repository. All right, so we have that. The next thing that we want to do is to go to remotes. Now, what we want to do now is create a remote. So when we go about creating a remote, that means that we're creating um, a connection to that remote repository. All right, so um, I actually want to go to um, GitHub right now. Now, as you can see here, we have our test repository. As you can see, it is empty; doesn't have any um, projects of any kind in here. And we also have this URL. As I said before in a previous video, this URL is basically used to help us connect to this remote repository. So it's basically something that's very important when it comes to linking the local repository to this remote repository that we have here. All right, so we want to go to remotes down here, right click, create remote. And then for this part, we just want to um, move forward with the default values, origin and configure push, but okay. And then from here, we just want to go to change. Now when we go to change, all the information is going to be pre-populated. We've copied um, the, UR, the URL from GitHub for this particular repository, test repository. We then have a host name, repository path, and we're going to be using HTTPS protocol. The reason we're using that is because we're using this URL, HTTPS. And after that, we just want to add our GitHub um, username as well as our password so that we're able to properly connect to that repository. So we just want to go to finish. And then after we do that, we want to go to this button down here called Advanced. Now this Advanced button is going to open up a dialog box um, called Push Ref Specifications. So down here we can select the refs that we want to push. So what you want to do is first of all go to this source ref and then select Master Branch. Now the reason that we're selecting this Master Branch is because it basically means that the currently checked out branch will be pushed to the master branch of the remote repository. So that's pretty much why we're going to be selecting master branch. So if we do do a push, then that will be 
push to the master branch of the remote repository. I mean, then after that, you just want to add specs. After that, just go to finish. All right. After you do that, you just want to go to save. And as you can see here, our remotes have been added. It's origin. You go into origin, you'll see the URL to our remote that is on GitHub. As you can see here, we have two different values here. And the first one has an arrow that's pointing down. The other one has an arrow that's pointing up. Now, this first, this first value here within, you know, un, under origin is going to allow us to fetch. So that basically means that we're a, we're going to be pulling information from our remote repository to our local repository. So, um, and then we have another value here, which is used for pushing. So it basically means to just push information from our local repository to our remote repository. So when you're working with a remote repository, there are two actions that you can perform, either push or pull, pretty much, and or fetch. That would be, you know, another method that we could perform on that. So um, since this is an initial commit, what we're doing right now, what we're going to be doing is right clicking this bottom um, value here and then going push so this is going to push all the information from our, that all the information that has been committed to our local repository to that remote repository in github so i just want to go push and as you can see here the push was successful so if i go back to my remote repository and then i refresh the page you'll realize that the project that we've created is now here in our remote repository. So we've just shared our project pretty much. So if we go into source, then we go to app.java, you'll see the hello world, which is exactly the same as what you see here. So what we've done, we've created an application and now we have shared the application to GitHub using the Eclipse IDE. All right, guys, so for the second part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clone an application or a project from GitHub using Eclipse. So what we're going to be doing is um, cloning this application that we have here in GitHub um, to our machine using Eclipse. So um, one thing to remember is that we're going to be using this URL right here, which is definitely important when we go about cloning a project from a remote repository to our local machine or you know our local repository so what you want to do first is open up Eclipse you're not gonna have a project or anything it's just gonna be an open workspace in Eclipse from there you just want to right click go to import import and then from here you just want to open up git and then you want to select pro projects from git so we're going to be importing by um, using projects from git here so we just click this go to next we're going to clone the URI double click we have all this information pre-populated the URI host repository path HTTPS as well as the authentication that we have here for github we want to go to next yes we're going to be using the master branch so basically if there are multiple branches you can choose whatever branch that you want to pull in so that you can start working on it go to next keep all these values here um, you can specify where you want your local repository um, you can specify the name of it up here but I'm just gonna keep it here as default go to next after that you're going to make your way to this page, select the wizard to use for importing projects. We're simply going to use the import existing Eclipse projects. Go to next. Then from here, we just go to finish. And as you can see up here, this is the project. We can now start working on the project from um, that remote repository on our local machine now.
So we, I just showed you how to go about cloning a repository from GitHub using the Eclipse IDE. Um, it's a pretty simple process. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.